Thomas J. Flatley, who died Saturday, was well known for his deep faith and his generosity with charities. He attended Mass daily at St. Agatha's Church in Milton. Over the years, he did a great deal to help Father Bill's place in Quincy, a shelter, to start new programs. The Rev. Peter Casey, pastor of St. Agatha's Church, and the Rev. William McCarthy, who founded Father Bill's place, shared some of their thoughts about him. My fondest memory of Tom is seeing him you know, each morning at the 7 o'clock daily mass, uh, giving praise and thanks to God, a faithful, faithful man. He, he was a laid-back sort of, sort of person. You know, he um, didn't really um, want fanfare, that type of thing. Uh, he was laid back. He was, uh, you know, and I found him to be a very humble person. You know, the, the, there are a few phrases that come into my mind. Tom, you know, prayed hard, and he worked hard, but he also, he played. You know, that's a balance that, you know, I think to seek in life, work, prayer, prayer, work, and, you know, uh, play. Um, he, he, you know, he enjoyed life, uh, but he was, he was a man of prayer. The Eucharist, I'd say, was utmost of importance, you know, mass, you know, uh, in, in Tom's life. Um, I, I, I'm sure he'd be one of the persons who would say, you know, where would you be without faith? I'm sure it was shared within his own family of origin. He shared it with the rest of the world, trying, and I say the rest of the world, um, not just local communities, uh, to make an attempt to make this world a better place. No question about it. Tom will be, you know, missed by by many. And then when I established Father Bill's place, I <laughs> he called me up and told me he was there to help me out. And Tom was uh, always put a charge before you that you had to raise so much money before he'd give you any money. He says, why am I going to give you a lot of money and make you lazy, you know? He set a goal for me to raise so much money, and then if I met that goal, he would, he would come across with the check because the equivalent to what I, we had raised. So he was very much uh, to get people to work for themselves, and if they work for themselves, he was there to give them a, a, a award for fulfilling his desires. This is Sue Scheibel, staff reporter for the Patriot Ledger. For more coverage, see today's newspaper or go to patriotledger.com.